oh my gosh, you guys, I'm actually going on this thing. It's computer thing. I'm doing a video and an audio podcast at the same time. I don't even know what to do myself, but I am focused on the audio because this is my podcast. I just happen to bring my face to the video screen. You guys, if you could see my face right now, you'd be like, no, you're frightening the children. Stop it with that face. But I'm really trying to be in the moment with this audio. So this is just an added bonus. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But if you'd like to check out the YouTube Blueberry Bliss Podcast, the audio Blueberry Bliss Podcast is so good to be with you today. But my face is a little jacked. It does look like I've been beating somebody up or somebody's been beating me up. But it don't matter. It's plasma something or other. Real kind of painful, actually. Scabbing on my face. Try not to scab. All in it up. But we are here to talk. I'm going to put this down for a moment. We are here to talk about the ships that the Lord has dropped into my spirit. Ships. You know, I used to live on a ship. I used to live on a cruise ship for three and a half years. Yes, I did. Well, many cruise ships, actually, every three months, shifting and moving around and all of that. Uh, Several cruise lines, maybe five to seven different cruise lines, but Princess being the main one. Now, that's not the kind of ship I'm talking about. I keep forgetting I'm recording on both, so this is me when I'm just doing audio. Wow, I'm confused. I screw my face. Well, the first ship I was thinking about is mentorship, and there's a reason. There's a position, there's a place in my life where I'm believing for a mentor, somebody that can take my hand and like, help me up to the next level. Somebody that's been where I want to go. Somebody that's doing what I want to be doing, if that makes any sense. So I have this mentorship thing on my brain, but I'm also, I think I've got the answer from the Lord, but I also believe I'm supposed to reach and grab a youth while I'm reaching up and grabbing an older woman that maybe doesn't have, maybe has grown kids, but they've been through teenage, um, teenage dumb, teenage hood, Anyway, the life of a teenager in my life, which would be the parent of a teenager. Oh my, it is messy, very, very messy right now. Stay with me. (laughs) Mentorship. You ought to be, there ought to be a little bit of tension between the two. You're having somebody pull your hand up and you're pulling somebody else's hand up. So there's that. So I just leave that to you, Lord. If you want me to be a mentor to someone that you just open that door widely and beautifully and that there's healthy, beautiful boundaries with me and this youth. And also that you would provide me with a a person that has been where I've been and where I am. Actually, that's what I mean to say, where I am. So thank you, God, for that tension that, that it's a good, it's a good tension. It's like, rather than stagnancy, I don't want stagnancy. I don't want mediocrity. So then I have this, um, this other ship that I'm thinking about, and it's leadership, mentorship, leadership, different, sometimes having some similarities, you are being a leader, you are receiving leadership from someone, but leadership meaning other people uh, needing your help, your guidance, uh, your teacher brains, oh my gosh, that was, that was, that, that didn't come out right, but that's okay, you get it, your leadership, Somebody's watching you. Somebody's listening to you. Somebody's gleaning from you, the good and the bad and the ugly. I'm not talking about my face, Lord. It's beautiful. Thank you for giving me a beautiful face. Um, so, Lord, would you tell us what you want us to know and hear about leadership? What do you want us to know and hear about leadership? Maybe honoring the leadership in our lives somebody that's in authority over us, honoring your leadership, saying, Lord, will you please lead me in this? Will you please guide me in this? Because I'm not really sure which decision to make. And it says in your word, Lord, in Psalm 32, 8, it says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. So you're saying this and I'm believing it and I'm standing in it. I'm thanking you for it. So about the leadership The third ship that I'm thinking of is fellowship. Now that sounds like a churchy word. 
join us for the fellowship after service. Not that I'm making fun of any churchy people, because I'm a churchy people, just so you know, I'm a churchy people. But fellowship, like the joining together of uh, um, people for the sake of uniting, right? Uniting and growing together. Yeah. We can learn from each other. We can laugh together. So fellowship is super important. Also, another word for it is community, like being in community, wanting to be in relationship with other people. Sometimes it's easier just to sit at home by yourself. It is. It's easier to just, do I have it next to me? No, I was going to grab a prop. I'm in the middle of this book. Oh, it's lovely, but it's okay because I can't. So, oh, also, we're on audio. Why would I grab a prop for the audio, yo? Yeah, it's okay. Stick with me. Don't worry. You don't have to see the video. There's nothing going on. Trust me, you're not missing a thing with my things going on in my face. But fellowship, fellowship. Hmm. The joining together of the brethren for purposes of encouraging each other, um, uplifting each other. Like, and the iron sharpening iron thing, it's all good stuff. Relationship is the fourth ship that I have on my heart and my brains today. And I'm just leaving before the Lord, like, okay, what do you want to say? What do you want to do? Lord, have your way in this podcast. Have your way in this moment. It's a little messy because I'm a little messy sometimes, Lord. But you love me in and through it all. And each day, even helping me to get better, to get wiser, to get stronger as I lean into you, as I rest in you. Oh, Lord, help me to learn how to the rest part, the rest part. So mentorship, leadership, fellowship, relationship. What is relationship? Well, my first thought when I wrote down relationship is my relationship with you, Lord, my relationship with my heavenly father, the Lord God, the creator of the universe. King Jesus, Holy Spirit, the three in one, the Trinity, the relationship that I so desire and I want to desire more. I pray this to the Lord. Lord, I want to want you more. It's a weird prayer, right? I want to want you more, Lord. I want to want less of my selfishness. Oh, I got to do this. I got to make this pretty. I got to fix this. I got to clean this. I got to put this back together because I have to have a tidy house. My relationship with you, Lord, it is the most important, um, what is it, ally? No, um, it's like a um, valued thing, my most important valued thing. My goodness, I'm cursed. Thank you, Jesus, that your words come alive in me. They rise up when they need to. You say what you want to say through me. Yes, Lord. I'm just enjoying my kickback and nest right now while my face is healing. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so Lord, whatever ship you want to talk to us about, I sure did enjoy living on ships. My auntie and uncle are on a ship right now, sailing out of California, y'all. And they're going down to some place down there. I've been all around there. That run, Alaska to California to the Hawaii, Fiji, the Polynesian Islands, the French Polynesia, the Australia, New Zealand, and all the good to put why am I telling all this? It sounds like I'm bragging. <gasps> what if I am bragging? I'm sorry. Oh, gross, Lord. No, no bragging. No, it's just story. I have many stories to tell, but I could not tell right now. Another relationship that's coming to mind, Lord, is maybe our relationship with our spouse. Or if they're not married, the relationship with the parents. Sibling relationships. Friendships. Um uncle, auntie relationships, grannies and grampies relationships. Oh, Lord, I pray that you would restore relationships right now as people are listening. Maybe they're sharing, maybe they're not. But God, I pray for restored relationships. <laughs> you want to do something in the relationships. I know my relationship with you is the primo of importance, okay? But I also know that the relationships around me, these horizontal relationships. They, mm, what are you doing? 
I'm sorry to interrupt y'all, but I was just wondering if it's still recording. Okay, hey, we're here. The horizontal relationships that God wants to work in. So right now, you know in your mind, person that's listening, um, <laughs> of course I'm talking to the person, but I go back and forth from prayer into talking to myself, talking to you. So right now, maybe you can just ask the Lord, Lord, what do you want to say to me through these ships that Blue's talking about? Lord, she ain't talking about a ship on the water, although maybe the Lord is saying something about a ship. One of my biggest, should I say that? No, no I'm going to keep that. It's okay. I'm going to keep that. I have a filter and it is working. Wow, that's amazing. A working filter on Blue Wyatt. I can't imagine. <laughs> this video is making me laugh because I'm literally coming to the video people, the YouTube place, in my worst absolute looking way ever. <laughs> Lord, stop. Oh my gosh, the humor in this moment. Um, but Lord, do whatever you want to do in our lives. Help us to so focus on you. And that's why <sighs> I don't want to be distracted by what I see, by what I hear, unless it is your voice. And you want to distract me from my current doings or goings or busyness or thought patterns. So may we be interruptible. May we be interruptible this day in our lives. May we say, whoa, Lord, have your way with us. Your way is better than our way. Your wetter, your wetter, your <laughs> Too many words all blended together like a blender of words. Anyway, your ways are better, right, than my ways. And Blue don't know what she's talking about half the time. So um, we just give it to you, Lord. And I thank you so much that you're just doing something new in the Blueberry Bliss podcast. May it get out to the right hearers. And maybe this video is what it needed, just like Blue humbling herself to look ridiculous on camera and go, hey, it's me, yo. Whatever. Don't even care. Don't even care because I do not care. I've told you a long time ago, Lord. I don't care what people think of me, what they say about me. Oh, they going to say what they going to say. I ain't going to stop them. Um, I have no idea why Christians these days feel the need to bash or correct. Let me correct you, brother. Other Christians. So that's not going to fly with me, Lord, but just we humble ourselves, Lord, under the mighty hand of God. It says, First Peter 5, verse, chapter 5. Oh, my Bible is too far away. All right, so Lord, what does the First Peter 5 want to say to us? It says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. Um, he will humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. And he will lift that he may lift you up in due time or due season. That's good. But it's saying, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Oh, yeah. Lord, I don't want to be the proud. I don't want you to have to resist me. No, no, no. I want your grace. I need, actually, I need your grace on the daily, yo, on the daily. So, Lord, would you just do your thing? I come with humility. I clothe myself. I'm going to clothe myself in humility. Um, being willing to look silly, sound silly, be rejected. Already been that. Yep. Uh, be made fun of, poked fun of, jeered, jessied. Sometimes, Lord, I think English is my third language. Oh my, I don't know what my first language is or my second language, but the third one is definitely English. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to tie it up with a bow. So living decorated, which is my jam, which is my motto, my whole life long word. Living decorated is from the inside out and all around. Living decorated is making choices about your mindset, your attitude, how you going to make your life pretty today. And maybe it's a smile on your face. Maybe it's you fix your hair. Seriously, Lord, I can't even believe I took this thing off in front of these people. Do not, whatever you do, do not go to YouTube and watch this video. Just do not. It's going to save you a lot of extra time. 
Um, but God bless you and he loves you and he has amazing, rich, beautiful plans for you and for your life. And don't doubt him for a second because he's got you. Okay? Love you guys. Bye-bye. So that is, okay, that's the audio thing. I'm not going to add background music, but I'm going to click enhance because I like to click enhance. Oh my gosh, Hang on. I'm no. Shh. Stop it. Me. Can I edit this? Just add that recording to the podcast. So video people, this is what I do every week. I just sit here with my phone on my bed or somewhere real comfortable because I like to make it just the chill vibe. My videos are all like this, like I got so much energy. My audios are like, yo, we're just chilling with Blue Wyatt. So if you want to go check it out, it's Blueberry Bliss. Now, Blueberry isn't spelt. Well, whatever, you look at your screen. There's no E in Blueberry. It's just Blueberry Bliss podcast on your Apple podcast. It's so easy. It's like, oh, yo, I do it on Anchor. It's like, oh, oh, hi. I've lost it before. Let me tell you something. I've lost it before. It's gross. So um, we're going to publish that tomorrow. But this, I don't know when this is going to air. I just wanted to come on and be real and raw and be like, hey, you know, sometimes we have ugly days where we just think we're so ugly. And you know what? God still sees us as beautiful. It is amazing to me. He calls me lovely, right? He says I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And so are you. So that's why I was coming to share with you today. All the ships. What about, hmm, what about, I don't know. I couldn't even think of another ship. There's a thousand of them. But right now it's just mentorship, leadership, fellowship, relationship. Both of those are basically the same thing. So basically I'm talking about two things. It doesn't matter. God bless you. He's got great plans for you. He says it in Jeremiah 29:11. For I have plans for you. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. And to give you hope and a future. And I think I might have messed that up. Just go find it. Jeremiah 29, 11. I'm not perfect. But I'm coming to you with honesty and with virtuosity. Maybe. Maybe not. can't remember what that word means. But definitely some integrity in there. Maybe some godly character 